Hey, what's up everybody, Isaac here with another New World video, and today we are talking tanking again, back with another tanking video, but today we are going to walk you through some more theory talk, not sharing a run with you on this video, but we are back to talking about some theory. So you first start tanking, and one of your questions you're going to run across, should I tank in light gear, should I tank in medium gear? Or should I tank in heavy gear? Well, right off the bat, the most obvious would seem, of course, you are the tank, you need to be able to absorb the most damage, so you should be in heavy gear. And well, what is all the benefits of tanking in light gear versus tanking in medium gear versus tanking in heavy? Well. One way for us to easily find out a bunch of that information is we just click on this little button right here and it's going to tell us all the different bonuses for the different weight classes. So if we are tanking in light gear, dodge stamina costs 50 versus medium, dodge stamina costs 40 and at heavy, dodge stamina is going to cost us 50 again. So based on that stat alone, medium would seem like the way to go so let's go down to the next one base damage plus 20 percent increase and we go down to medium base damage plus 10 percent increase so let's see what base damage increase heavy has oh wait instead of an increase it says block stability plus 15 percent increase so in addition to having the greatest blocking stability on the shield itself, it's going to give us another additional 15% blocking stability as a bonus when we are in heavy gear. So as a tank, that's incredibly important. So if you're doing large pulls that are going to re require lots of stamina consumption, you're definitely going to want to lean into that heavy gear so you can have better blocking. Ron, let's keep reading the rest of the stats. Outgoing healing, well, we really aren't a healer, so we're not going to bother with caring about that part. But let's read one more bullet down. For 1.5 seconds after taking a melee hit, dodge distance is reduced by 20% and you cannot run. So let's look what medium has to say for one second after taking a melee hit dodge distance is reduced by 20 percent and you cannot run well medium sounding a little bit better as far as that stat goes all the way down to heavy 4.5 seconds after taking a melee hit you cannot run well on that stat alone heavy definitely wins out but there's obviously a whole lot more to it than just those stats. So a couple different things that are going to come into play. Well, let's take a look at this light shield. Well, we have this little number called blocking stability, 30%. Well, let's take a look at the kite shield, 40%. And let's take a look at the big tower shield, 50%. And like these numbers aren't perfect, there's going to be something that says tower shield, but it's going to have a different number than 50% or there are different versions of tower shields and there's different versions of the different shields. So keep that in mind. There, you might run into a tower shield that has a lower blocking ability. Let's see if I have. Yep, this one, it says it's a tower shield but it has a lower blocking stability. Damage 961 versus this one, damage 901. So this is almost like a hybrid tower shield. It's going to do more damage, but it's gonna have a lower blocking stability. And what that basically means is, in a light load, when we have a small shield, we are going to lose our stamina a lot faster. We're going to have a harder time tanking big bosses and big groups of mobs. We're going to run out of stamina a lot faster when they hit us. So definitely a negative for the light load tanking. And heavy definitely wins out on that one. There's no doubt about it. But 
there's obviously multiple factors that goes into all of it. So another thing that's going to factor in is your attributes. So are you going to go light? Are you going to go medium? Are you going to go heavy? Are you going to go 300 con? Are you going to go 200 con? Are you going to go 100 con? Well, obviously you're going to do the most damage if you go light, tank, and the higher that you can crank up your strength and or dexterity, the more damage you're going to do. So, let's say if we're a light tank and we go to 100 con and we go to 300 strength and then we go to... you know 100 decks well we're going to be very dps -y as a tank but the problem is we are also going to die very easy we are not going to be able to sustain blocking very large groups of mobs so we're definitely going to make a mess of things when we go to make a big pull and our dps are counting on us to keep everything grouped up we're going to lose our stamina, we're going to have to run away, and then we're going to be able to block again. We're going to lose our stamina, we're going to have to run away, and then we're going to block again. So, we're not being very effective at that, but that doesn't matter because we can do a lot of damage, right? Well, our job as a tank is to group things up and make it easy for the rest of our team to do all the damage. But, if the mobs are spreading out all over the place, well... We start having to kill them one at a time and killing mobs one at a time instead of killing them five or ten at a time that's not very fast even if we can nuke each mob down individually fast well overall it's not going to be very beneficial so that's definitely something you want to keep in mind it definitely can vary from one dungeon to the next say for example genesis there aren't very many places that you have to stack up tons of mobs and tank them at one time. Really, there's only one spot that you gotta stack up a bunch of the little creepy crawlers or the little whatever they are. The little tiny mobs that they'll gang up on you and they'll steal your stamina really fast. There's really only one of those places in Genesis. But, say, if we take dynasty for example we're tanking dynasty and there's a couple of places where we have to make a couple of bigger pulls so if we go light tank we're going to be forced to have to take smaller pulls or we're just gonna do a really sloppy job of it but so you definitely have to take all of those things into consideration the other thing is well we're a light tank but you know, we're super squishy and we're taking all the aggro. So, the mobs are mad at us. They hate us. They want to take us out. And we're in light armor. But, since they're all attacking us, if we stop blocking, we're going to die very fast. But, let's think of it the other way. What if we are in heavy? We have our heavy shield. Um... I don't want to buy that one. We'll just pretend that we have heavy armor on, which we don't. I just have my stone working gear on. But let's just pretend we're in heavy armor. So, mobs are attacking us. We're in heavy armor. We got 200 cons, so we're pretty tanky. We got, you know, our frozen protection amulet, so we're super tanky. We got our frozen protection shield, so we're pretty tanky. So we're not going to do quite as much DPS per second as the light tank, but we're also not going to die immediately as soon as we go to attack. So we're going to do a little bit less damage every time we attack, but the reality is if you're tanky enough, you can have like a 90% uptime of doing damage where the light shield guy, he might have like a 10% uptime and he's not doing any damage until it's just the last couple of mobs that you got to move down. And by that time, you should be moving on to the next group. You should be moving on to make your gathers. You shouldn't be sticking around to finish off killing the last couple little mobs. So, if you're just waiting around hiding behind your shield as a light tank user. 
well, you're not doing much damage. And if you're just hanging around to kill off the last couple of mobs when you could be moving along to get your next pull, you're kind of wasting time. So, if your uptime on output damage is like 10% because you're too busy hiding behind your shield, light tank is not going to be the move. And this is definitely going to vary from dungeon to dungeon like I mentioned. Every dungeon is different. Different dungeons are going to have bigger pulls. Other dungeons, smaller pulls. And it's definitely going to depend on your squad as well. So, it is multi-factored. So there's definitely times when a medium shield would be good to have. You know, you go ahead and you tank as a medium tank. You're going to have a little bit better stability. Still not as good of stability. See, we got 40% stability, blocking stability, versus 50 and versus 30. So we're kind of right in the middle. And since we're going to be in medium gear we're going to have that 10% damage bonus. But, say it's a dungeon that has like medium sized pulls, heck, a medium shield might be perfect because you're not taking huge pulls that require you to block forever and ever. So maybe you can still sneak some damage in in between and you're gonna have that 10% bonus. So definitely could be viable in certain dungeons to run medium. Genesis is definitely one that you could potentially run light and like I mentioned there's only like one or two places where you got some heavy pulls. And there's two bosses but the first big boss, the caretaker, as long as you're going all in, you don't have to worry too much. But if you are going even if you're not going all in, you actually can still survive against the caretaker in light gear. You know, you can block as much as you need to, but then you can kite him as well. And you can survive that way, especially if you got your hatchet that you can switch to for your life save. Obviously, I got my hammer out now, but say you're blocking the caretaker, he takes all your stamina, you switch to your hatchet, you run around, you get a heal, you pop a pot, and you are good to go. So... Genesis is definitely one that you could viably run a light tanking gear setup. For sure, no doubt. Doesn't mean that you absolutely should. I personally run a heavy tank set. Eventually, I would like to get some lighter tanking sets. Basically, what I will do is try to find light gear for everything. So I can DPS or tank or, you know, do whatever play all the different roles in all of the M10s. Currently, I really only have heavy gear set up for all of the M10 mutations, but definitely would love to switch things up and do some more DPSing. Something I enjoy, just kind of got stuck doing the tank and stuff, for one, because not a lot of people are doing it. Two, I do definitely enjoy tanking, but it is fun to switch things up here and there, so would be fun to do a little bit of DPS in as well. But back to what we are talking about. So this would be my main suggestion. If you're tanking a dungeon and you're wearing medium because you think it's the cool thing to do or you're wearing light because you think it's the cool thing to do because obviously you can put out so much more damage as a light user or as a medium user but your uptime on hitting the mobs is like 10 percent that's just not it you're gonna do very small amount of damage versus me in my heavy gear who is basically face tanking doing damage like 90 percent of the time you know i get the initial gather i block the initial stuff and then i'm either constantly doing heavy attacks constantly doing this little number or else i'm pulling out my hatchet and I'm just hatcheting away, just face, take, face tanking everything while I'm doing damage. So, but you definitely can do decent damage with this light sword as well. So especially if you're in a corrupted and you're doing heavy attacks, they are weak to the stab. So heavy attacks are very good, but also the light attacks are fine. And you're gonna do plenty decent damage with your sword, especially if you do have Bane set up on you sword and being on your shield so 
that's the problem. If you're in light gear, but you only have like a 10% uptime on doing damage, like I see so many tanks that are in light gear or medium gear, they're just hiding behind their shield the whole time. And their stamina is always getting drained, so they're running away after the stamina gets drained. And everything is just getting spread out, just making a huge mess. Where if you got your big old heavy shield on, your stamina is going to have a much harder time getting drained. Plus, you're going to be tanky enough to do some damage. So, plus, another thing is, I do have some trenchant recovery and life stealing on my sword. No, this has been my go-to. It would be nice to use Bane, but this is a really good sword, so I like to use it. And it's going to help me face tank stuff. So if I'm running at least 200 con, and I can just sit here and, you know, I'll block if, some, if I start to get low. But between my heals and my trenchant recovery and my life stealing and my leeching, I can just sit here and face tank and do damage. And I can have typically like a 90% uptime on doing damage. So if I'm doing 20% less damage than somebody that's in light gear, but I have a 90% uptime on doing damage and they have a 10% uptime on doing damage, and especially that 10% of uptime on doing damage is the time they should be moving on to the next section. Well, guess who's doing a lot more damage? Yep, the guy in the heavy. So. Definitely not an end all be all. There's going to be different situations where one could be better than the other. But just keep that in mind. Use common sense. So, yes, light armor tank is going to do more damage when they are doing damage. But of course, it's going to depend on how much con you pick, how much strength you pick. And I've been learning that once my gear is pretty darn good, once I've been getting the amulets with protection. I can actually survive pretty dang good, even at 100 con in these M10s. So, even though I'm heavy, if I only have 100 con and I'm up to 300 strength and 100 dex or, you know, whatever specific attribute split up I decide to take, well, I am actually going to be doing some pretty substantial damage when I'm only at 100 con, but even if I'm 200 con, 300 strength, or whichever way my attributes are split up, I'm still doing reasonable amounts of damage, especially when you consider I have like a 90% uptime on doing damage. So just take that into consideration. Don't do light or medium just because it sounds like the cool thing to do because you have that bigger multiplier of damage per second. If your damage per second is high, but your uptime on doing damage is low, you're just not going to do large amounts of damage. And you are a detriment to your team if you cannot hold the block because you're losing stamina, so you're running around and spreading everything out. That's just not gonna help either. So take all of that into consideration Take the dungeon you're running into consideration, but my suggestion, getting started, you just absolutely cannot go wrong with being in heavy gear. I would say start off, you know, my suggested way to start off. Start out, I don't think, yeah, I don't even have, I don't have my gear on, so can't really do that, but I would say start out running 300 con, 200 strength, you know, it doesn't have to be those exact numbers, but somewhere in there. And then as your gear gets a little bit better and better, start going more towards 200 con, 300 strength. So that would be my suggestion. Go heavy, get the heavy shield, have really strong blocks, but have the ability to have like a 90% uptime on doing damage. Whether you're sitting there doing damage with your sword and shield. Whether you're pulling out your side weapon. Say if I'm in Lazarus, it's going to be probably a hammer or maybe a great sword. Or, you know, different places I might have my hatchet out or my great sword. So whether you're pulling out your sword and shield. Whether you're switching over to your secondary weapon. 
you know, if you can have 90% uptime on a little bit less DPS, you're still going to do substantial amounts of damage. That's going to help out your teammates. So, I hope some of this stuff might help you. I know there's a lot of questions going into tanking. You know, obviously you see different people doing different things. I've had a lot of people question me um, doing dungeons. They'll see my big tower shield and they'll be like, Oh, I was, you know, running some running some uh, dungeons and, you know, the tank, he just had the small round shield, you know, what's the reasons for that? So, you explain to him a little bit the differences, but, but yeah, if, uh, especially if you're a tank and you're looking to get into tanking, yeah, those are some questions that a lot of people are going to have, so, hope this helps out. Let me know if you have any specific questions and any specific topics you would like me to dive deeper into. And that's going to be it. So, hope you have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one.